Good morning, everyone. I am Veos, and welcome to, I think, the last of To the Moon with a single rocket engine space plane. Hopefully the last. This is going to be part four. The challenge is basically to build a space plane that can land and take off like a plane, but only have one engine. Just one part. One engine part. And uh, we're trying to go to the moon to refuel and then be able to go pretty much anywhere after that. So, uh, we've got a nice size crew cab for the two Kerbals that we're going going to be um exploiting <clears throat> i mean uh selecting for this mission so it's uh it's going to be nice and roomy for them because i really really hate hate it when i see a kerbal on a command seat travel around the entire solar system in like 500 years right it it's so unrealistic i mean it, this is kerbal space program so it's going to be unrealistic any damn way but it's just so far out there that you might as well just label Kerbals as little tiny miniature robots instead of living creatures for the game. But hey, you know what? Whatever. Whatever. It, it, for me personally, I'm not going to do that. You know, it's your game. You play it the way you want. Got it. Good. Moving on. Now, this is Hercules, but it's category E, which means that it's gone through what? A, B, C, D, E. Five iterations so far. Um, That would entail that uh, maybe we should change the name to something else completely because it's a completely different craft from when it started so we need to find a name for this sucker yeah look, look at that that's that's pretty cool a b or c did i delete c did c sucks so bad that i deleted it probably uh, no no actually it goes backwards i think yeah so it was like something like this this is the hercules this is the first hercules this is the uh rocket that takes 36 tons into space up like a plane and lands like a plane one engine right cool awesome and uh and this was the Second iteration we tried with the Rhino engine, it failed. Third iteration we tried back with the Mammoth, it failed. And then this one actually worked. It got up into space with like 1400 Delta V. So we just took the fuel and everything that's on here and made this one. So while, mm -mm. see I was trying to get uh, something that looked a little cooler, a little uh, more, 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 more sleeker. So I went for the, um, the longer sides approach with kind of a, a tailed off end. I turned the mammoth upside down a little bit or to the right so the engines were sticking out on the top and bottom. And it's kind of got this tail going on, like right? real slick tail. And these uh, two um, side areas kind of protruding forward from the uh, main cab. Um, I, I think it looks better, much better than what it did. Maybe some desirables still, uh, still are necessary to make this thing look a little better, but it definitely looks better than what it did. And it holds the same fuel and the same everything. But, but, uh, if this doesn't work as good as I want it to, the other option is to shorten these wings up by one row. So if I shorten these wings up by one row, that will eliminate a little bit of drag and help this craft to make it uh, to space with more Delta V. So we're gonna give this thing a shot. Um, I was playing around with the lights just a second ago. Let's uh, do this. Slap on a flag here. Make it nice and big. Oh, yeah. So we'll figure out a name for it later, but let's go ahead and test it to see if it works. Let's do this. Cross your fingers. Everything looks good. <clears throat> Start up the engines and go. Easy now. Easy, 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 easy. Okay, pull up, pulling up. Come on, pull up. All right, we're going up. Gears are up, pulling up. Well, trying to at least. Wow, uh, how is this thing nose heavy? Okay, let's go back. Wasn't nose heavy before. In three, two, one. Immediately pull up that, that, that nose. Uh, okay. Oh, it's keeping it from going up. Back to the drawing board. Eh, uh, not as bad. Okay, let's do this. In three, two, uh, oh, one. Okay, so the launch profile was horrific. Let's try that again. Okay, we're back into space, but we only have 1300 meters per second left. A little suspicious, but I know it's going to be one of those things where it's on and off. So let's go ahead and try to make it to Minmus. 
And if it doesn't work, the next trick up my sleeve is of course to shorten up these wings and try to reduce the drag. You know what? Uh, I'm, mm, I'm gonna, mm, I'm gonna go ahead and shorten the wings up while I'm in here. I'm just gonna go ahead and shorten these up real quick. Okay, because I'm a little low on time again, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and narrate this part of the video as it's sped up. Uh, basically, by shortening the wings, I just made them a lot sharper, uh, smaller, uh, less drag, and unfortunately, I was having a problem where the center of mass, the center of lift, was making it so that it was always nose heavy. So I literally had to make it where the center of mass is very, very close to the center of lift. Still in front of the center of lift, but very, very close to it. I ended up having to put like a type of canard in the front of the craft, but that didn't even work to, so i went ahead and i just put a wing part and the wing part seemed to work just fine although i might switch back to the canard we'll see um but uh, the design design the design warped and changed into this very beautiful looking craft um i was not expecting it to look so good but uh it finally it, it made it and uh we got into orbit with uh, 1400 delta v so yeah that was good that was nice that was real nice Okay, so pretty close, still in the 1400s. Now I realized that I was, uh, I was at an angle and I was kind of messed up. So yes, I could have saved maybe 60 some odd meters per second more fuel had I been able to line up with the equator just right. But let's go ahead and see just how much error we have room for with this design. And it's a good thing I saved because that is a horrible landing site. I'm just glad the gravity on this place is so minute that I don't think it's going to be too much of a problem. Oh, we couldn't have landed in a worse spot. Oh, we couldn't have landed in a worst, worser, worsome, worstest spot ever. It would have been nice if we landed on that slope right there, but we're going to, uh, we're a little short. 200 meters per second. We have enough delta V to slow down, but... Oh, just barely. All right, here we go. Oh, jeez. Don't blow up, don't blow up. Don't blow up. Don't blow up. Track it, track it, track it. Easy. Okay, good, don't worry. Don't worry. What? <laughs> Uh, oh my goodness goodness gracious let's see what happens when we try to initiate fuel if there is fuel there might not be no fuel up here oh no i didn't think about that why okay please don't break my shit Yeah. Ugh, ugh, ugh. Mm. Oh, wait, wait, no, no, no. Okay, no. Uh, okay, let's uh, engage the drill. Uh, it, wait a minute. Do we even have anything to extract? I bet it's gonna be a no. I bet that's gonna be a no, Charlie. Uh, let's run this. Uh, run analysis. Uh, or s it says 15%. I mean, 15%. That's a lot, right? I think maybe. Ooh and start service harvest and it stopped ore rate not available i know this ore thing appears empty right yeah it's empty yeah oh boy start drill thermal efficiency na uh cooling nine seven cooling nine seven 
How can we not in? Oh my gosh, this damn game. Uh, okay. What the hell's going on here? Huh. That was actually a much better landing. Start surface extraction. Oh, come on. This time we've got 13%, which is average. 13% ore, which is freaking average. I don't, I don't, I, I don't know what's going on. I'm not entirely sure what's going on anybody in the comments below if you can figure out what the hell's going on what i'm doing wrong please let me know i think i'm going to shelf this for now and we're going to do something else uh, for the next couple days but um i made it to minmus i made it to minmus with mining equipment that should be working that should be working i made it to minmus with mining equipment that should be working and it's not and i don't know why so yeah i'm done <laughs> well everyone thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel i made it to minmus yay with mining equipment that doesn't freaking work but uh i'm gonna go ahead and shelf this uh let me know in the comments below uh what you think it went wrong and what i could do to um make it better but uh, this has been the single engine part space plane that takes off like a plane and lands like a plane challenge to uh, the moon and uh, if the mining equi equipment actually worked then it could probably go anywhere else because it's like 4,000 Delta V so that's a lot but uh, yeah take care everyone love you all and I'll see you in the next video bye for now bye 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 share like subscribe subscribe share like and like and share and, and stuff and snow woo 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 woo